And so we'll look forward to that. We're also looking forward. There's no tropical threats in the Gulf of Mexico for the rest of this week or the weekend. We are going to be tracking tropical storm Lee here. This does not look like a Gulf of Mexico problem, but it's one that the East Coast should still monitor long range. It's still a long ways out here and there's still uh, are some uncertainties in the forecast. It is strengthening and it is strengthening fast and that's going to be the a uh, really crazy thing about Lee over the next coming days or so. Notice we have it as a hurricane later on, maybe today into tomorrow, and then blowing up category two, category three, category four, and yep, a category five is not out of the question. I was just looking at some models. Some models have winds over 170 to 180 miles an hour by the time we get into the weekend. Now the good news is most trends do keep this north of our Caribbean islands, Puerto Rico in the Virgin Islands and all the others. So that would be good news, but they're still monitoring this very, very closely. And then while it looks like it's making a straight line towards the US, it still looks like it's probably going to begin to make that curve by next Monday or Tuesday. And that's as this ridge starts to weaken. Now, whether the East Coast gets impacts from this or not is still a big, big question. It all has to do with the timing of this trough. If this trough is too quick or if this trough is too slow, that opens up the opportunity for this thing to get a little too close to the East Coast, maybe up into New England, maybe into the Canada uh, Maritime. So if you're along the East Coast, it's not a guarantee this is going to be your problem. There's a big chance that maybe this curves out to sea and isn't. That would be good, but if they have plans to head to the East Coast here over the next, we'll say towards the end of next week, seven to ten days from now, uh, this is something to certainly keep an eye on to make sure it does make that turn. It is not written in stone that this thing curves out to see. Now, Bermuda, you're definitely keeping an eye on this. So we'll keep you updated right now. Once again, that is not going to be a Gulf of Mexico issue. And for us, our tropics stay quiet. We're actually looking forward to that slightly drier air mass moving in by Friday. And then for your weekend here, there may be an isolated shower or two. But overall, Leslie, I'm lacking the forecast this weekend for St. Sunday, a high of 93, a little less humid, not feeling too bad. And that morning, maybe some upper 60s north of the lake if you're going to be tailgating.